Today we're going to be demonstrating how to submit ANSYS applications to the Total C private and public cloud. I've already logged into the Total C visualization server, which sits on the public cloud, uh, to run these applications. The first thing we do is we log into the Total C web portal, and then we can pick a list from a list of applications on the left. So we have ANSYS Electromagnetics, CFX, Fluent, and ANSYS Mechanical. The first thing you can do is select the version of the software you'd like. We have a selection of 18.2 and 19. If you get, I've already pre-staged my input deck, but I can browse and select from a list of directories and or upload a file if I don't have uh, a model already uploaded. I pick the number of cores, I can type in here, and then I simply push submit. Once you submit, it gives you a job ID. On the public cloud, it will then power those nodes on for you. So if we go over here and look at our list jobs, we're going to see that my job is currently running. And I have uh, this set of nodes. I can click on status, and I can see a visual depiction of the cluster. All the compute nodes are allocated, and it prints out a table of summary of various queues and how many jobs are running and who's running them. When the job is completed, I can go to list jobs and I can simply download the results by clicking on the, on the directory here. And I can either download a zip or any individual files that I'd like. And then click download. Alternatively, because I'm already on the cloud, I could simply choose to post-process the results on the cloud and not bring the results back to my desktop for post-processing. Maybe I only bring the final results back. So, for example, I could click here on ANSYS CFD post and I'd be able to load the results that I had just simulated. And so I go to my work drive, I'll go to this Fluent example, and I can you know, uh, load the model, and I can you know, do typical post-processing uh, tasks here in, right on the cloud. So this is my cloud workstation, and I could bring up other applications like electromagnetics, CFX mechanical workbench, and do all of these activities right here uh, remotely. Now to submit the other applications, it's very similar. To submit a CFX job, I've already pre-grabbed uh, the static mixer file. I selected uh, version 19 here. I can add a comment like, this is an important job. And then I can simply push the submit button. And I can do the same thing for uh, ANSYS Electromagnetics. I have this helical antenna. I can pick a version of the software, how many cores, and then I can simply push Submit. Finally, ANSYS Mechanical, you'll see it's kind of the same playbook. I can pick my model. There are some specific settings in which types of licensing I'll pull. I can pick the number of cores, and then I simply push Submit. And then if I go to list jobs, I can see all my jobs that are running and have completed. And I can see the status of the compute nodes and what I'm running. And then I can bring up those same uh, models in whatever post processor or simply download the results like we showed earlier. So that makes it very simple to use. As you see, within just a few clicks, I've submitted all the major ANSYS applications. I could submit other types of applications and do any type of post-processing here on this uh, server. I can also just load up ANSYS Workbench, and I could submit through ANSYS RSM if I choose not to use the Total C portal. But as you can see, it's very simple to submit these workloads, and it only takes a few clicks to be running the models, and then you could choose to download them, as we showed, to your uh, PC to post-process them or simply post-process them here on the public cloud. If you're interested in learning more, please reach out to us at info at totalce.com or visit us on the web at www.totalce.com where you'll learn how we've helped other customers reduce their run times through high-performance computing, either through our managed appliance uh, that is an on-premise system that we manage for you in your data center, or on the public cloud, like we demonstrated today in this webinar. Both work identically and we will help you make a decision on which one would be best for you and your company.